Hey, so in this tutorial, I want to show you how to set up uh, groups inside of Google Workspace. This is great for a company if you want to send emails uh, to your customers that seemingly come from the company. And then when customers reply, the reply gets sent to everybody that's in the group. And this is great because you're not having to add like an extra company email that someone's having to go and check all the time. Emails go out from the group, replies come back to anybody that's in the group, and then you can follow up one-on-one -on -one as needed. You're not having a big group chain either. Um, so the way this looks is you can see over here, I the email was sent from this AI masters, that's the group. And there are multiple people in my team that are in that group. So this was sent to uh, Hugo here and it says, hey Hugo, can you send an update? And then Hugo then replies, this is my dummy email, so forgive the naming there. It says, yes, I'll have that to you by the end of the day. And then one of the people in my organization then followed up and said, thanks. And so it comes from the group, they reply, it gets sent to everybody in the group, and then someone from the group can then reply. Um, and then at the tail end of this, I'm gonna show you how to hook this up to Glide, which is the no-code app builder I use. And so basically it'll look like this. So, you can, so from the app, you can click email, uh, we'll say send a new message to Ivan here. We'll just say, hey, and that gets sent. And then Ivan then gets that message from our group and it's not tied to like a personal email or any single person um, in our company. So let's go ahead and get that set up. And this is all gonna start inside of Google Workspace admin. So if you just go to admin.google.com, you'll need to work with somebody on your team that has access to this. And from the home screen, you will click on you can go to users go to manage those users and then within this let me go ahead and make this big you'll click on groups and this will bring you to your groups section here you can also just search for groups in the toolbar and that'll pull the screen up so we're going to create a new group um, I called my last group AI Masters. I'll call this one uh, Group Masters. And so this will be the name of the group. And then I'll just do the alias that we're going to use for this. Uh, this is what people will see as the email coming from. So groupmasters at amblemind.com. And I'll click on Next. That creates the group. And the one thing I found in my testing, like you can leave all of this the same, but you need to enable this last checkbox here, who can post so that everybody can post and then create the group. And then now, now the group is created and now we just need to add people that are already in our Google Workspace org users, people that are emailing from our Google Workspace, um, add them to this. So I'll go ahead and type in my primary email and then one of my secondary emails to show you that. And one important thing is uh, when you're setting up the integration to send emails from like a NoCo tool, uh, you, whoever, you, whoever you will log in with there needs to be a part of this group. So whenever I make the connection to send emails from my Gmail, I'm gonna log in with this Darren at amblemind.com. So that's gonna take a few minutes to kind of percolate there, circulate. Um, so I'm going to go back to my Gmail and this is where I need to, I've now added myself, Darren at amblemind.com to the group. And now I need to grant myself access to be able to send emails from the group. So I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go to accounts. And then here I need to add a new, that new group here to be able to send email as. So I can send email as the group. So I'm going to click on add another email this bigger for you. And so I'll just put in the group name, group masters, and then the email address. And then next steps. And then now this is going to send a verification to this group. So just, you know, ensuring that I have access. And before we do that, let's see if I just want to make sure that we're added here. So now that I'm here shown under direct numbers, this all should, should work just fine. So let me pull that back up. We'll click on send verification. And so now that's going to send a verification to 
all of the group members that are inside of the group. And we just need to click on the link to say we are now approved to do that. So back here in my inbox, it says, hey, um, this person is requesting that they can send emails from this group. Do you want to approve that? So I'll click here to approve that and confirm. So now if I go back to my Gmail settings and go to accounts, we'll see that group masters is here and I can now send emails uh, from that. Um, so now whenever I'm creating, composing a new email here, um, I'm actually able to send emails directly from that here from within Gmail. But a lot of times what I'm doing on the glide side is we're actually using this as a notification system, a, a lightweight transactional notification system. So let's flip over to that side of things and show you how to set that side up. So here within Glide, um, I'm going to go over to my integrations and I already have Gmail hooked up here. I'm going to go ahead and rehook that up. So I'm going to add Gmail. I'm going to sign in with that member that is a group. It was a part of the group that has access to send emails from the group. And so now that has been added. And then I've already built out the interface here for sending emails, but let me just go ahead and show you how to configure sending that. So I have this action here. Let's see, I click on this button. This prompts up a, uh, a section here where I can um, see who I'm sending the email to. And that's just whoever I click on here. I can send an email to John there, who it's coming from. This is the old email I was using, the group alias I was using, the subject, and then the body, this is where we're typing our message. And then whenever we click on send, this is where we need to configure who is sending the email. So I'm logged in as Darren at AmbleMind.com, which is a part of the group. But whenever I go to actually send the email, this is where I'm going to specify the group that we're going to be sending it from. So Glide has this uh, formatting where we want to use the name and then these caret brackets and then the email. So here, instead of AI masters, we're using group masters and same thing in the email address here. So this would just be whatever your group name is. And then all the rest of this is just glide specific stuff on configuring, you know, the subject of the email, I'll change that to group. And then, Hey, first name message that we type in best. And then the group masters team. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. Um, so I'm gonna go to send, let's say a message to Fatima here. So say, hey Fatima, can you send through the link to the spreadsheet? Send. And down here that says email sent. And then now if I go back to my test inbox here, we have a new email coming from, that's the wrong one. Here it is, Group Masters. So Group Masters has now sent me an email. It's come to Fatima here. And it says, hey, can you send through that spreadsheet link? And so then Fatima is gonna reply and say, here it is. And then HTTPS link.com. That's going to be trigger some spam. Let's just do <laughs> uh, google.com send. And so now this email is now going to go to everybody that's in the group. So everybody on the team that needs to be notified if someone, if this group gets an email is going to be notified. So now we can go, go back to here. So this is my primary email, Darren at AmbleMind.com. Just got this message from the client that was originally sent from Group Masters. And if I go to my secondary inbox that I use to send notifications from my portal, you can see they also, oh yeah, right here, Group Masters. Can you send through the link? And then here it is, just looks a little bit different. So. Everybody in the group has now got the uh, email from the client. And then now I can reply and say, thank you, back to Fatima.
send that. And then now she's going to get the email um, as coming from myself. Once that clears out of Gmail. And I guess one thing I just learned um, is if you reply from the account that has access to send emails from the group, it looks like Gmail will default to sending the email from the group. Uh, but if they don't have access to send emails from the group, they don't have that alias set up, it'll just come from their personal account. So, all right, I hope that has helped you um, set up your group so you can send emails as your company and then kind of coordinate communication with clients better and also hook all this up inside of Glide to get like a, a nice kind of uh, way to manage your communication coming from your company.